Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here, and I was just scrolling through some Pinterest pictures and I came across this amazing looking ceiling, so I thought I might do a tutorial on ceiling design in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit, and I'm going to be using the architectural template for this, as I do for most of my projects. And first, I like to set the units, so I'm just going to set them to meters for this. And now let's add some walls in which we're going to draw our ceiling. So I'm just going to type in WA for wall, and use just a rectangle tool. And now let's set this to be at 3 by 15. So this is just kind of a hallway, a little hallway that leads nowhere and starts from nowhere. But inside of it, we're going to be creating our ceiling. And let's just set this wall type just to have some white wall. So I'm just going to go here to do, use this wall board material just to make it white. And let's add a floor as well. And I can do this with select floors and let's flip it to the other side and what it did just there I just tapped the tab key and then it selected all of the walls so you just go finish and let's add some flooring material to this just to make everything look nice when we render it in the end but okay this is the basic stuff out of the way now it's time for the ceilings so to do ceilings, I usually like to go to the ceiling plan, and here we have ceiling plan number one. That's basically instead of a regular floor plan where you're looking down, the, here you're just looking up. So let's place a ceiling over here. So you just go up here on the architecture tab, you go on build, and here you have ceiling. And you have these two ceiling automatic ceiling and ceiling sketch. So I just like to use automatic ceiling because we have a closed room and then I like to edit, in it, edit it in place later on. So basically I'm sketching it later on. So for the first height I'm going to go with 3.5 and the reason I said first height is I'm going to have two ceilings and I'm going to go with the second one which will be at 3.3. .3. So place that one here as well and if we create just a section over here and open it up as you can see here we have two ceilings and maybe we can select all of these walls and attach them to level two yeah okay so we have these two ceilings so I'm just going to select the first one and go into level one and go into edit boundary and now here we can create our pattern so I'm just going to start off by drawing a 45 degree line like this and the same thing here and now let's use this arc tool so I'm going to be starting on starting off from somewhere over here go to I don't know over here and just kinda bend it inward a bit then I'm going to select it use the mirror tool or MM to rotate it around or mirror it around then I'm going to select both of these just by holding the control key when I select and I'm going to be using the rotate tool and select copy place and I'm going to place it in the middle over here and then I'm just going to rotate by 90 degrees and as you can see now we have kind of copied it around and another way you can do this is by using draw mirror so just DM and then you mirror it around okay so you have one of these patterns and now I'm going to delete these two lines I don't need them anymore and I'm just going to extend this a bit like so Okay, now what you need to do is you need to use the trim and extend tool to trim and extend everything in place. And now I'm just going to fill it these edges. So I'm just going to use radius of 0.2 or 20 centimeters. So you kind of go like that. Same thing here, here and here as well. Okay, so once we have this, I can select it. Let me just remove this line and I did that by holding the shift and now I'm just going to type in CO for copy and I'm going to copy it down by the value of 3 meters and I'm going to select here multiple copies so I can kinda go copying it down so I just extend this and then I type 3 3 3 3 okay so we came to the end of this little 
hallway or whatever you would call it and now I'm just going to use the split tool or split element tool the SL is the shortcut and I'm just going to kind of go splitting these lines along here okay and once I've done that I use trim and extend and I trim everything in place like this So it's a bit a little bit work intensive, but yeah, it it's fast enough for this project. Okay, once you have finished all of that, you just go finish, and this is what you get. Now I'm going to select this cool looking ceiling and go into edit type, and I'm just going to edit this down to make it a bit thinner. And for this finish material, I'm going to add some wood just to make everything look nicer then I'm going to go OK apply OK and then I'm going to go in this section select this upper part go into edit type and here I'm going to change the finish material to something let's go duplicate call it plan 2 and here I'm going to change this finish to something darker so I'm just going to type in blue and let's see what we get so let's use this steel blue and I'm just going to go to appearance and make this a lot darker so I'm going to choose this and make it kinda like that okay this looks nice I like this go OK 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 so this is a blue ceiling and this is a wooden type ceiling now I'm going to go back into ceiling level and let's add some lights to this ceiling so if I kinda move this out of the way here we got these two types of lights so this is the ceiling light and this is a wall light that I'm going to go be adding later on so I'm just going to drag this across let's maximize the screen and I'm just going to place it here in the middle now if you are interested in how to create a light like this I have created a tutorial on that and the link will be the first link in the description of this video so make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it so I'm just going to go here copy and select here make sure that multiple is selected and you just go three 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 okay so we have these lights now let's go into level one and let's add those wall lights so here we have them oops there you go and if you go here to add them as you can see we can see them so I'm just going to go one step back and that's when we select this light you can see the elevation is at 1.65 and we're cutting this view at 1.2 so you just go into VR or view range and you change this cut plane to I don't know 1.8 and you go apply OK and now let's use the component and let's place it I don't know here and let's copy it so just go CO for copy and go 3, 3, 3, 3. And now we can select all of these lights, go draw mirror, and mirror them around. Okay, so we have all of these lights. Now let's create a camera view. So I'm just going to go here to camera and create a view like this going down this path. And then I'm just going to use this tool to kind of look up a bit. Yeah, I think this is a nice looking view. Maybe extend this a bit. Yeah, that looks nice and now let's try rendering it so I'm just going to type in double R for render and here I'm going to set this to high now I know you usually set it to draft or medium but for using lights and for interior renders it's usually better off to go with a little better setup so I'm just going to go with this and let's leave it at screen and here just for the lighting I'm going to set it to artificial only and interior so just set it to that and let's start rendering and this is basically something that you get in the end now of course you can probably set a, a bit or better quality and then the rendering will be better as well but okay that's pretty much it for this ceiling tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day